Hi everybody, Allie here from AllieStamps.com and today I just wanted to share with you how to make and duplicate this cute little lion punch art piece. Before we get started, I'm going to show you the rest of the cards that I have in my lineup for my July Technique class. Um, this is a class that you can come take in person if you live local to me in Rochester, New York on Thursday, uh, July 25th. If you don't live local, then you're welcome to take it on the go and everything gets mailed to you um, to do in the comfort of your own home. You also get the PDF file with all of the instructions and photos um, so you can you can dive in and play with this at home. Um, so first up we've got the lion punch art and we've got the technique or uh, the resource page that um, lists out everything and you can keep these handy um, so that you can duplicate the punch art design again later on your own. We've got Pac-Man, which is a great guy card. I don't. It, sometimes it's really hard to come up with those. So that's a fun one. You could use it for kids too if they still if they know who Pac-Man is. But um, great for for the man in your life. And then we've also got um, the street sign, um, the street lights, the traffic lights with hello, which is just another fun one. Again, could be used for a guy. Kind of nice for graduation time too. If you wanted to put a graduation sentiment on it, um, lots you could do with that. Okay. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to dive into um, the whole, the um, making that lion. So Mr. Lion, we need um, lots of Daffodil Delight cardstock and baked brown sugar are the two colors that are being used. There's also a smidgen of black. And I've got um, a piece of, of uh, Daffodil that has been embossed with polka dots already, and then a plain piece, and you're going to need both. And then I've also, I've got my baked brown sugar. So the first thing I'm going to do is punch out the mane of the lion with the blossom punch and the baked brown sugar cardstock. The next thing that I'm going to do is, is the center for that lion, the face. And then while I also am using that from my plain daffodil cardstock, and I'm also going to punch out two of the three quarter inch circles from the plain daffodil cardstock for the paws. And then two of the um, polka dotted daffodils for the cheeks. I'm also going to need um, one of the little tiny heart, the heart from uh, the Owl Builder Punch. And I'm also going to need two tiny black little eyes from the Cupcake Builder Punch. However, my Cupcake Builder Punch very much broke and I have a new one on its way, but um, it wasn't in time to show you to, um, for this video. So we're going to imagine um, these black circles from the Cupcake Builder Punch. Okay, before I start adhering things, I'm going to take my Baked Brown Sugar ink pad, which is a fabulous new in color. If you haven't checked out the details on my in color club and the in color me happy website, be sure to do that. You can find that all out at AllieStamps.com too. And you're just going to sponge the edges of the blossom punch, punch out with that um, with that ink, just to get a little pop. And then the other thing that I sponged were the cheeks. So I sponged the edges, and then I gave a little tiny pounce to the top to help define the polka dots. like that. Okay. So and then the next step is going to be just to adhere everything. So we're going to go ahead and adhere um, the circle, the one and three eighths daffodil circle to the center of the baked, the baked brown sugar blossom. And then um, you would do the eyes next if you had the eyes to put on. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw with my marker two little circles just so that you can picture. But the, um, the punch outs will look much sharper and cleaner get the idea you'll do those first and then you're going to attach the um, the heart from that cup from that owl punch I use two-way glue for all of those tiny tiny little pieces so you'll put some two-way on that and attach that and it's going to slightly overlap the eyes well not that much <laughs> 
just like that. Um, and then I'm going to take, now you really will use the marker regardless of if you have your cupcake punch or not. You're going to use the journaling end of that and you're going to do um, the mouth and that you will hand draw. And then the next up is going to be those cheeks, cute little cheeks. Put some snail on those. This is really not looking very pretty with those eyes. Good thing you can see my finished piece. Like that. And then the last step is going to be the paws. And when I did it on the resource page, I just mounted it all together. Um, but when I did it on the card, I, um, I, mo I mounted that. So let's see, I stuck these down first. I didn't stick them to the, that main. I stuck them down, pretend that's the card. Except you can't see them in my video. There we go. <laughs> I haven't had enough coffee this morning. You'll stick down your three quarter inch circles and then you're going to pop this right up with um, Stampin' Dimensionals. And then that's going to give some height between the mane and the paws. And it's just going to make him pop a little bit more. Let's look at the cute guy. Um, so you can see that that mane's popped. And I use the bone folder to kind of even roll the ends of that blossom just a little bit to get that look. The ruffle trim made a great pairing with this, as did the Quattro Fancy Designer Series paper. You can get, and we got candy dots too, you can get these items all in my shares, my product shares that I'm doing for the new catalog if you just want little samplings of it. You can buy the full kit for this card as well. Um, and then obviously you can buy full quantities on my website at alleystamps.com too. So that's how I made that card. And going back to the resource pages, the thing that's really nice about these, if you continue to get them every month and you can just get a subscription to subscribe to it, um, is that you build a really nice library of punch art designs. And then every time that you need um, a punch art design, you can just pull up the, um, the punch art creations book and go to town and... Um, You've got a huge library of ideas. So that's a lot of fun to store every time you make um, a, a, a resource page. Check it all out at AllieStamps.com. Thanks for joining me, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.